One of the native animals to the Korean peninsula are amargorals. Amargorals usually live in the DMZ area of Yangugun. However, it's really difficult to spot them there. That's why today we came here to Amargoral Multiplication Restoration Center to meet them. Let's have a look together. DMZ, the last refugee for endangered wild animals, is becoming a home for wild animals that have no place to live due to various developments and environmental pollution. In particular, it became a major habitat for Amargorals, especially in the central eastern part of the DMZ near Pukan River. Amargorals are living there peacefully, feeding through the sheer rock walls. Amargorals living in the DMZ move freely during the day along the fence. While the Korean peninsula is divided for the past years, Amargorals have fallen in love, gave birth, and raised their babies in the DMZ. Amargorals are also a designated natural monument number 217, which are now at risk of extinction and under international protection. The reason why Amargorals are growing healthy in the DMZ is because soldiers and Amargoral protection organizations have continuously fed them whenever it was difficult for them to find food in winter. Those organizations in particular have played a major role in protecting Amargoral's habitats in the DMZ and the civilian control line. 강원 지역 DMZ는 산악 지역으로서 사냥에 살기 가장 좋은 지역을 가지고 있고요. 인적이 드물기 때문에 이러한 지역이 있음으로써 사냥이 보존됐다고 판단하고 있습니다. Continuous feeding of Amargorals has created a new group on the eastern front. At Dutayan Sculpture Park, a civilian control line in Yangu area, Amargorals began to appear and approach visitors three years ago. In Yangu, the first Amargorals Multiplication Restoration Center in Korea has been operating since 2007, treating injured Amargorals, then releasing them into nature to prevent extinction. So far, a total of 62 new lives have been born here and 21 have been released back to nature. 저희 시설이 그 운영을 시작한 지한 14년 정도 됐는데 올해는 12마리의 사냥이 태어나면서 어 시설을 운영한 이래 가장 그 많은 개체가 그 태어난 아주 뜻깊은 해입니다. So let's go a little bit closer to the Amargorals. Oh, I can see many of them. Let's count. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven Amargorals and one baby. Let's go closer. Okay, wow, so can you see just behind me, there are plenty of our girls. Uh, I think we're just less than two meters. They're really, really closer. Uh, I think that if I come closer, they will run away. But let's go a little bit closer. These animals are so cute. It is estimated that about 1,000 Amargorals live in Korea. Although the Amargorals appeared on Earth about 2 million years ago, their appearance has not changed very much. Therefore, scientists call the gorals living fossils of nature. Amargorals in particular have a peculiar habit of living in the vicinity of the place where they were born. The endangered, precious cultural heritage of Amargorals is being revived with continuous protection measures and efforts from the Multiplication Restoration Center. <laughs>